So for this video, we will be learning about 3D referencing and formulas. And what all 3D referencing is, is using cell references from different worksheets inside your formulas. For example, in our workbook, we have three different cells sheet tabs. We have one for 2018, and then we have cells 2019, and then cells for 2020. And within the cell summary sheet, our goal is to sum the total cells for each quarter from each year. For example, within our North Division for quarter one, we need to sum the quarter one cells for the North Division from 2018, 2019, and 2020. But the cells that we need to use in our formula are on different worksheets. And that's what 3D referencing refers to. So if we type in the equal sign, and then we go to the cells 2018 sheet tab and then click the cell for quarter one for the north division in our formula it says cells 2018 exclamation point c3 and this little section right here is what's called 3d referencing so we can come to the end of our formula click the plus sign go to cells 2019 sheet tab then select the cell for quarter one for the North Division, plus sign, go to the cell's 2020 sheet tab, select the same cell, and click enter. Now we have summed the total cells in quarter one for the North Division, but for all three years. So if you noticed, even though we inserted the formula on this summary sheet, we were still able to build on this formula even though we were selecting different sheets. But now I want to share a quick tip with you and show you how you can open up a new window to where you can stay on this summary sheet and then reference cells from other sheets while still being able to stay on this sheet. So if we come up to the View tab and select New Window, now Excel has created a copy of your current workbook. My workbook is called Excel Practice Copy. Yours should say Excel Practice. And then you should see a dash 2, because this is the copy of your original workbook. So if I click and drag this window to the right side of my screen, I can place this copy workbook here, and then I can select my original workbook. Now I have both of these workbooks opened up on the same screen. And you can see that your original workbook has a dash 1 for the name, and then your copy has a dash 2. So now let's do the same thing, but for quarter two. So in my original workbook, I'm going to select quarter two for the North Division and then create the same formula. So I'm going to type in the equal sign. And then instead of clicking on different sheets within this workbook, I can select different sheets in my copied workbook. So I can go to the cells 2018 sheet tab and then click quarter two for the North Division plus sign. And then I can go to the 2019 sheet and then select quarter two for the North Division again, plus sign, then go to the 2020 sheet and then select the same cell. And if I click enter, now I have successfully created this formula using 3D referencing, but being able to stay on my summary sheet within my original workbook. Now I believe having two views of the same workbook can definitely increase your workflow because now we are able to work in different areas of the workbook at the same time. And these two workbooks mirror each other exactly. For example, if I type something in one workbook, it will show up on the other workbook. So these two workbooks are mirroring each other and you can save either one. It's totally up to you. And to get out of this view, all you have to do is exit out one of the workbooks. It doesn't matter which one. And now we are back to just viewing the original workbook. So that's using 3D referencing within formulas. And I just wanted to show you that quick view tip to help enhance your workflow.